This is RK Pillai of My Safety Thoughts presenting a video on the difference between a safety officer and a safety engineer. Is there really any difference between a safety engineer and a safety officer? Various people at various situations have asked this question. However, no one had a satisfactory answer so far. What's the difference between a safety engineer and a safety officer? Have you ever faced this question? Just consider a straight ladder. Safety officer will explain all the safety requirements and he is sure to insist that if it is kept straight, it should be lashed at the top, bottom and middle. Now coming to keeping the ladder at an angle, it should be kept at 4 vertical to 1 horizontal, that is 75 degrees to the wall. And if you ask him why you should be at that 4 vertical to 1 horizontal, there comes the real problem for him. So far, nobody has asked him that. He never thought about it. Now he is sure to answer you that it is the rule or safety manual says so or it is a company procedure and so on. You will never, never get a satisfactory answer at that level. I don't blame them for that is the type of training they receive. Now go to a safety engineer. He will explain all the forces, vertical pressure trying to slide the ladder downwards from the top, horizontal forces trying to slide the ladder away from the wall at the bottom, the center of gravity on each rung as a man steps on it, to ensure stability while on each rung, how the center of gravity will remain the same at an angle of 75 degrees, and coefficient of friction of the ladder material considered, and using all the English letters and figures from 1 to 9, he will give you a certain formula and convince you that if the ladder is kept at 4 vertical to 1 horizontal only, it will remain stable while on any rung from bottom to top. He will in fact draw a formula on how it works. Then he will tell you that the ladder safety procedure is drawn based on engineering principles which you can very well believe and rely upon. Now a safety engineer must be a qualified engineer. Safety training is desirable but not essential. Capable of visualizing hazards. Creative to find solutions. Design protective measures. Make prototypes. Draw safety procedures. Conduct trials taking risk himself. Communicate its effectiveness. Convince others. Take responsibility for safety of everyone and every activity. Be enthusiastic. Understand human behavior. That is most important factor. Example. You just consider a motor with a spindle projecting on both sides. This can be converted into a grinding wheel by fixing two wheels on either side. This is how we will explain it. Mechanical and electrical engineers have designed this grinding machine. It has a motor with a projecting spindle to fit wheels. Once wheels are fitted and electrical connections are given, it will be ready for use. A worker can now start using it. A safety officer will refer to the company policy, procedures, manuals, checklists if available to advise workers on how to ensure safety. Here comes a safety engineer on the other hand, will have to visualize what are the hazards if any. It is high speed rotating machine. It is classified as a dangerous machine. Its wheels are brittle and dangerously exposed. It can break and hit the worker like a bullet. Hands of the worker will come so close to the rotating wheels, it can cause laceration. Flying hot needle sharp particles can hit the worker's eyes. His creativity will have to find solutions. Possibility of wheel breaking. Ring test. Look for cracks on the wheels. Provide wheel guards. 
check wheel speed it should be greater than the spindle speed work may be caught and dragged towards the wheel along with the fingers provide a tool rest with a minimum gap flying particles provide flash guard form body in the eyes of workers wear safety glasses and face shield visibility problems provide a spotlight emergencies provide emergency switch in easy reach of operator communicate these safety measures to others convince others of their importance train them wherever necessary and when a safety engineer has done all this safety officer has only to ensure compliance with all the safety measures is there any difference a safety officer has to ensure that published safety procedures are carried out by the workforce in a way that conforms with the legislation guidelines for best practices and internal company policies a report non compliances to reporting officer normally has only staff function he too has no line authority in other words a safety officer has to ensure the organization is compliant with health and safety legislation monitor and implement the organization's health and safety policy help reduce or prevent hazards dangers and accidents ensures the health and safety of workers the workplace environment and neighborhood in safety profession there are many different designations like safety officer hs officer ehs officer she officer safety representative safety inspector safety supervisor and so on it is all same all doing the same duties have the same responsibilities it is like the same wine in different colored bottles qualification a safety officer in most of the countries qualification is not fixed the same way duties are not fixed all are organization dependent some organization has a high qualification criteria before being considered for the health and safety role while other organizations considers a lower qualification in india it is a statutory position degree in any branch of engineering or technology and practical experience of 2 years degree in physics or chemistry and practical experience 5 years or diploma in any branch of engineering or technology and practical experience of 5 years possess a degree or diploma in industrial safety recognized by the state government in this behalf and knowledge of local language there are certain exemptions too that is for well experienced people in the areas of accident prevention diploma in industrial safety recognized by state government one year post diploma in industrial safety conducted by department of technical education and labor institutes whether central labor institute or regional labor institute only are considered diploma or certificates issued by private institutions are strictly not recognized and not considered outside india in most of the countries there is no prescribed qualifications for the appointment of safety officers education level also not specified often consider work experience only company management decide the selection criteria here you too can be a safety officer another video follows thank you for your time in watching